In a previous video, I did some power draw comparisons between a DW735 planer with a Bird Shelix cutter head installed and one of the original factory cutter head installed. And I got enough comments and questions about the power measurement portion that uh, I decided I would just do a quick follow-up. Now, most of the comments were uh, questioning my ability to measure or my ability to do math. And I question those things myself sometimes, so uh, maybe I'll just do a uh, a repeat here just to make sure we're we're all tracking on the same thing. Now I know this isn't entirely intuitive with, uh, with some of the measurements on this so I'm gonna uh, use two different meters this time and the original setup I had this uh, line splitter on there and again the purpose of the line splitter is just to separate the neutral and the hot wire uh, because if you were to measure both of them together like right here on the cord you would just end up with a reading of zero on the uh, on the meter. So this separates the two, the, the two wires, and then uh, also this one has 10 loops in there, and that's supposed to be for better accuracy because you're measuring 10 times and getting an average, but what also happens is that when you get the number on the scale, it's 10 times greater. So if you were measuring something that uh, was, was 10 amps, what you'd see on the, on the meter would be 100 amps, and you'd have to move that decimal place one point because if it's... Uh, if you divide something by 10, you move the decimal place one point, or multiply by 10, move it one point. So uh, I have another line splitter here. True story, this is actually the one that I was going to use for the, the first video to try to simplify it. But um, when I was putting this thing together, I, I goofed and uh, I was doing an early morning run to Lowe's, and I grabbed a 220 uh, receptacle instead of a 110. So I uh, defaulted to this guy. And... Uh, I got that fixed, so now I have two line splitters here. If you ever want to make one of these, it's nothing, uh, it's nothing complicated. I mean, yeah, they got 10 loops in this, but all it is is uh, you just got to separate the hot and the, and the neutral and um, just put a plug on each end. It's like making an extension cord or something, so no big deal there. And uh, I'm sure this one's a lot safer because if you get that scratched up, you're going to have some wires exposed, but I do not, so I have no problem using this. So what we got here on the setup, two clamp meters. We got, uh, let's see, we got the more expensive true RMS one and the basic model. And that just doesn't matter for what we're doing right now, true RMS or not. And I will just switch these two after, uh, after we uh, do the first run, just so you can see the, the, the same reading on the different meter. And I think that we're ready to go. I'm gonna do this a little just quick and simple. And I'm not going to run any wood through there. I'm just going to turn on the planer and just read the, uh, the, the no load measurements just for simplicity. So let's turn these both on. Turn it on to the, the two. I get overload every time I go on the, on the 20 amp limit I think because of the, the surge on this thing. But you can just go off of the 200 to 400. And get that. Oh, there's the light. A little bit different. Turn this one on to the amp setting. And turn on the light. Hopefully you can see both of those. And now I will turn on the planer. Now it's going to spike a little bit in the beginning. And I'm not turning on the, the max setting for either one of these right now. So you're going to see it spike in the beginning. And then, you know, just because the motor has got to work its way up to, to speed. And once it's at the, it's, its operating speed, then it'll kind of drop down and level off. And what you're going to see is that this one right here, on the 10 loop line splitter is going to have the decimal place one point over and this one will have the decimal place one more to the left but it's measuring the same thing you'll just see that this is this measurement times 10 approximately it'll be off by uh, by a little bit here we go That was a terrible first test. What's going on here? I must have hit the, uh, uh, did, I, did I lock that thing? Let me see. Let me just turn it off and back on. I might have hit the wrong button by accident. Oh, I hit the hold button on the side. If you hold the hold button, no. See this one, the light's over there. This one, the light's down here. All right, so I got the hold button off. It was holding at zero, 
which is why it was reading zero. Let's try this again. See the decimal place there and the decimal place there and let's just switch these guys and try it again without tipping everything over come on now Maybe a little bit lower now it's not going to affect it that much these aren't extremely precise measurements, and they don't need to be. That's probably, that'll work. All right, let's try it one more time with the meters reversed. Hopefully that cleared everything up. If not, I'm sure I'll hear about it in the comments, but thank you everybody for your support. It's uh, been a lot of fun working on this channel and working on new videos for you. So if you have any more questions, post it down in the comments and I probably won't have an answer because I'm not an electrician, but I will do my best to defer to somebody else. Have a great night.